All right guys, so here is the finished product and you can see that we have cleaned things up quite a bit from the last video. So what we did is we went ahead and added a main power relay. Uh, down here is gonna be your switch wire, which is going to be a uh, spade connector. This is gonna go on Subarus down below the fuse box, right next to the kick trim uh, where the door sill is and there is a female spade connector there that is just blank with a keyed 12 volt uh, power source there. So this will just go right in when you turn the key on. It'll actually uh, turn all of, actually turn this on and then this will get power. So we're simulating over here power to two nine volt batteries. And then this is going to simulate the water level switch. Um, when it completes the circuit, that means that the buoy has dropped to the bottom and it's now allowing electricity to switch the orange light on on the LED over here. The little green wire over here is going to be power to the pump and there's also a ground down there for that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach this to this side over here. I'm going to go ahead and take that. All right, so now you can see that I've added the power to the switch and everything is now illuminated. This is actually in auto mode. You can take that off of auto mode, turn auto mode on. And when I go ahead and I hit power, you get a green indicator. Now the boost line is gonna come into this right here. Down here, there's a little rubber Insert you pull that out you put the allen key in you can adjust the level in which the boost uh, triggers the whole setup so When you're driving down the road and you hit low water level, I'm gonna switch this to simulate that everything's going to go All right low water level. You also notice that the auto Light has turned off put water back in and we're back in business low water level back in and now you can spray. So that's the whole setup. Um, the power line from the battery is fused. So this bundle over here is gonna run through your firewall to the actual battery. You can see that we've got some uh, ring terminals right there. These lines, this bundle over here is gonna run all the way to the back of the car to the pump and the water tank and the water, uh, water level sensor. You can also use a tank if you're choosing. You can get water level sensors fairly cheap online if you want to use your own tank. Um, and then you have all of your relays that will mount underneath the dash and then you can insert the power one somewhere on the dash as well. But uh, that's everything. It's all finished, all set up. I'm gonna switch out these LEDs for different ones. They seem to be just bleeding the light to one side instead of all over it. But for right now, they're gonna do and uh, Everything's ready for a plug and play setup.